Hey, what's up, my fearless network marketing friends? Todd Falcone here. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, a question I get asked all the time from network marketers is, dude, I'm running out of leads. Who do I talk to? Uh, I don't have any, I'm, I'm, I, I, I have nobody to talk to. I can't build my business. I'm, I'm stuck. And that is not a good position to be in at all. I'm telling you right now. One, in fact, uh, a couple weeks ago, I did an episode, and I'll make sure that uh, my team puts that uh, inside of the post that, uh, I don't know if you, you could be watching me on YouTube, you could be plugging it into me uh, through my podcast. Uh, if you're on my site, that's perfect because you're gonna see that stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now that if, wherever you are, you wanna get the rest of the details at toddfalcone.com forward slash episode. 54. Okay. So toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 54. I'm telling you that now I'll make sure I repeat it at the end, but I get asked all the time, like, okay, I have no budget and, uh, or I'm skinny on money. I'm tight on money. Uh, and I d don't know a whole lot of people like let's, let's paint a scenario real quick. You're, uh, you haven't been a really social person. You don't know a whole lot of people you find yourself in a network marketing business. You got 300 Facebook friends. Uh, you got hardly anybody in your phone and yet you want to build a business and you're like, okay, how am I going to build a business? And, oh, and by the way, I'm broke. I have no money. Well, okay, well that would be a tough situation to be in, but that doesn't mean that you're down and out and down for the count. The reality is there are plenty of things that you can do to generate leads for free or create new relationships that literally cost you no money or virtually zero dollars. So, uh, I mean, for example, Facebook, I just mentioned that, getting involved in Facebook groups. One of my favorite strategies for free lead gen is getting involved in Facebook groups where you have a specific interest or curiosity in. So, uh, you're either super interested or super knowledgeable on something and it's easy for you to contribute value, uh, that would be a great place. Like let's say, or like, let, me, let me paint a scenario. Let's say you have uh, an autistic child, okay? So you go find a Facebook group, uh, uh, parents with that, I don't know, parents that have kids with autism, which would be obviously a very challenging thing as a parent to, um, to work with, uh, having an autistic child, and bonding with other parents that have the same uh, challenges, having autistic children, finding a Facebook group where you have something in common, in this case, an autistic child, would be a way to uh, connect with a lot of other people that you have something in common with. Now, I'm not saying you go in there and, hey, let me go try to get as, get as many, well, let me see what I can get out of here. But you have, you have value to contribute. That's something that you, you know, that you have in your life. And having people, it's something that you have in common with someone is, is a a conversation that's easier to have, okay? That's one way. Now, I don't know if using that example is the greatest example. You might be into fly fishing and you're heavy into fly fishing and you join a fly fishing group and you learn all about fly fishing techniques and how to throw the fly and what types of flies to use and how to strip and retrieve and how to catch a fish without damaging the fish and all of that. Or maybe you're an expert of fly fishing and you have a, an ability to contribute value. Being a valued contributor draws eyeballs towards you, just straight up. It, you know, if you go into a place, into a group uh, that, you have a, that you have an expertise in, it's, you'll end up having people sending you friend requests or checking out your wall or wanting to connect with you because they see you as a person that's adding value to that group, okay? Now, the other thing is you might have something that you have a deep curiosity in. Let's stick with fly fishing. Well, maybe you know nothing about fly fishing, but you go into that group because you really want to learn how to be better at fly fishing. And so you're going in there and you're asking questions and you're inquisitive and you're curious and you're involved in the group and you're meeting new people in an area that you have a curiosity in. Again, the, the thing that you have to understand, this is like a long-term strategy. This is not a an immediate, I'm gonna recruit somebody today strategy, but it's a way for you to start developing uh, a, a greater degree of relationships that you have, growing your list, if you will, by being involved in Facebook groups. You can go to Google, you can get involved in different meetups. If you go to meetup.com, if you go Google business networking or women in networking or 
local networking groups or you know bicycle groups or let's say you're into bicycling but local bicycling groups like local bicycling clubs local book reading clubs i don't know whatever you're into there's plenty of ways for you to connect with people and create new relationships and to me my favorite thing to do is 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 create relationships or meet new people where i have something in common with them because it's just easier for the conversation to take place again most, you know, a, a lot of these strategies are long-term strategies. And I, I did an episode a couple of weeks ago. I'll make sure that my team puts it in here as a, as a reminder uh, in this post. So again, toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 54. Uh, I will make sure that they put in a link to a post I did a couple of weeks ago, which I think was titled Five Things Network Marketers Should Do Daily. Those to me are must-dos. Uh, they should be law those are things that you should do every single day. And if you miss that episode, you'll get access to that through this particular post right here. And if you're on a podcast or on YouTube, you definitely want to head over to toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 54. One of the other things that I'll do is uh, I created a, a downloadable PDF a little while back um, on a bunch of different ways to generate leads. And you can print that out. It's free to download. You can print it out. And it's just a lot of great ideas for lead generation. And the thing that you have to understand most importantly is that you have got to be in a lead generation mode all the time. Like every single day you should be doing something to generate new relationships, whether it's on social, on social media, uh, whether it's off social media and in person, I would suggest, I mean, I mean you can get involved in things like BNI, Latip, there's, uh, uh, there's all sorts of different things that you can do to get into your local community, maybe volunteering at your church or volunteering for an organization. My wife recently was volunteering for uh, this uh, ball that's taking place, and so she had an opportunity. It was funny because not only did she volunteer, it was weird, she went and volunteered, she met a bunch of ladies, and she ended up bumping into a woman that I haven't seen since like 1988 or 89, I went to college with, and the woman came up, and she goes, Falcone, do you know a Todd Falcone? And she's like, yeah, I'm married to him. She's like, yeah, I, was, I lived in the college dorms with him, and we had a chance to reconnect. I haven't seen this woman in like 30 years, right? So the important thing that you've got to understand is you got to be doing something every single day. Now, if you're, I understand if you're on a tight budget or you have a no budget, local networking groups are great. Uh, whatever interests that you have, think about what you love doing. It also makes it easier meeting people when you are doing something that you love. If you're doing something that you really, really enjoy, then having conversations or going to a bicycle meetup would be great for you because you love to bicycle and you're meeting other people that love to bicycle. And when you're riding around or you're hanging out, having a beer afterwards or whatever, what do you guys talk about? Well, what do you do? What do you do? You know, where are you from? How long have you been here? How do you live here? Whatever the deal is, you end up having conversations and, and making new friends that way. And, you know, there's things that you can do that are paid. Uh, I'm not going to get into that in this episode. You can buy leads. You can uh, generate your own leads through uh, advertising, but you need to get in. You need to understand how to advertise and you need to understand that game fully before you ever get into it. Uh, a one way to generate free leads, something that I teach on very extensively, is this whole art of recruiting professionals, recruiting up the socioeconomic chain. Uh, that's a free way to generate leads, and that's a great way to talk to amazing people, recruiting up the socioeconomic chain, recruiting professionals. In fact, I know my web people are going to laugh at me up from this episode. I don't care. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm in charge. So um, I'm going to make sure that they put in a link as well to uh, an upcoming webinar one of the best ways for you to generate free leads and talk to really good people is by recruiting up, by recruiting professionals. I run a free webinar a few times a week on the subject of recruiting professionals. I make sure that they put that link in here as well. So again, wherever you're catching me, toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 54 is the place that you want to grab it. Now, the other thing is you could do this. Um, you could put a decal on your car. Like, okay, real quick. Now, I've never, I'll be straight. I've never put a decal on my car, okay? Okay. I have a friend of mine that was driving an Audi R8, beautiful car, uh, absolutely amazing, super fast vehicle. And on his car, he had a very professional decal on his back window that says, I think it said, fire your boss, work from home, call, and then there was a phone number. And he put it on a $150,000 car. I wouldn't put it on a 1979 Ford Pinto, probably not, not be a good idea. 
But if you got a decent car, then you could put some kind of uh, curiosity generating statement. I, I drive around town and I see people that says XYZ representative and it shows the logo of the company and then their phone number. Uh, I don't know that those are as effective as some kind of curiosity generating statement, like fire your boss, work from home, something like that. I'm not going to go into, you could probably get creative and figure out something to say. It's got to be short, concise, to the point, and then a call to action. Um, look, even things like sizzle cards. I know that's, quote, old school, but a sizzle card is nothing more than a business card with a provocative statement or question. Uh, uh, work from home part time, a thousand to two thousand dollars a month full time, five to eight thousand dollars a month call or visit this website. You're pulling money out of an ATM. You could drop a couple. You're uh, paying a check at a, at a restaurant. You could drop it in the in in where you're paying a tab. You're I wouldn't leave it in a bathroom. I actually found one of those in a bathroom one time. Literally in the stall, somebody dropped a sizzle card in a stall. I didn't even want to touch it because it was literally sitting on the stall. So you got to but, but but here's the other thing. You're not driving around town trying to drop cards or flyers around town. That's not an effective strategy. But if you're pulling money out of an ATM and there's a little platform there, you could drop a couple cards right there. You never know until you put something down. That costs you virtually zero money. It's no effort. You're not driving around town to do it. But there's a bunch of other ideas in this download that my team is going to put right here on this post. So again, if you're on YouTube, you need to get over to toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 54. And if you're on podcast, same thing, get over there, T-O-D-D-F-A-L-C-O-N-E dot com forward slash episode 54. So you can grab that uh, lead download, that lead generation download. There's so many things that you can do that cost you no, no money. I know many of you guys that are watching me are on social media. And if you're on social media, literally, again, the, one of the best things that you can do is getting involved in groups that are of a sincere interest that you have. The other thing, and the last thing I'll say is this, if a group doesn't exist in a specific category or you want it, even if it does, you can create your own group around whatever the subject matter is and start drawing people into that group. Maybe you're like a, a brand new vegan and you're way into vegan eating and, and you want to create a vegan lifestyle, former meat eater to vegan group or something like that. And I'm sure there's probably a bunch of people that are former meat eaters that are curious about veganism. And you could create your own group, which creates the opportunity for you to have your own audience. Now, it's not a pitch fest. It's not a place for you to just pitch, pitch, pitch. But it is a place for you to add value. And when people see you in a group and, and you're contributing value and you're part of the conversation, what do you think people do? They go scope out your wall. And they go see what you're doing. So it also involves you making sure that you're active on Facebook, that you're consistently active on Facebook. If we're talking specifically utilizing Facebook groups, you can't be running a group and then posting once a month on your Facebook page. You got to be thinking about what kind of stuff that you're posting on your Facebook group so people are attracted to you. If you're nasty and negative and putting all sorts of ick ickiness on your Facebook page, which I know none of you network marketers would probably do that, then that's not going to be attractive either. But there's too many things that you can do that are free or virtually free that uh, you can do to generate new leads, new relationships, and meet new people. And it's something that should be part of your daily routine, okay? And so again, I'm going to make sure that my, my, my team puts in uh, the episode that I did a few weeks ago so you can see what those five things are just in case you missed it. And again, I appreciate you guys for plugging in here. So much for being here. Uh, I'll see you on a future episode. Stay fearless, my friends. We'll see you next time.